Unfortunately, bullying within the workplace is a very real problem for many of us. We think of our careers, our families, our responsibilities, and of course our finances. Very often we come across jealous work colleagues, overambitious managers and authoritarian bosses who believe they own us and have the right to dictate to us. This can make our lives difficult and cause extra challenges that are not necessary, not helpful and unwanted. We spend more time at work than we do at home, so having a peaceful, pleasant and harmonious ambience at work is essential for our well-being and our mental health, as well as for that of the company. It's very often difficult to fit in with an established work team when we're new to a position or a company. We naturally are trying to do our best, prove our worth and do a good job all at the same time. However, there's a very fine line between being helpful with colleagues and bosses and doing too much by taking on more responsibility than we can handle. In our eagerness to please and help other people, we can sometimes forget our own needs and our own well-being can suffer as a result. We can find ourselves miserable, as in the song by the Smiths, I was looking for a job and then I found a job and heaven knows I'm miserable now. There are people who mistake kindness for weakness and will exploit you because you're honest, because you have good work ethics and because you have morals. As the song continues, why do I give valuable time to people who don't care if I live or die? Sometimes we can volunteer to do extra duties to help our colleagues out. Shifts and extra duties can be done around holiday times for colleagues who have families and children. However, take care with doing this too often, since some colleagues and bosses will ensure you always cover the holidays and do their work for them. You have holidays and things to do outside of work too. If you're a manager, please ensure that all colleagues get fair shifts and it's not always the same people covering over holiday periods. Be fair about it and consider all your workers. Especially consider the temporary workers who come into a position and company at short notice. Very often they're forgotten about with the attitudes of, well, they're only here for a short while. They're not on a permanent member of a team, so it doesn't matter. They often don't get included in office socials and are left to feel ostracized. Please remember, they're covering for someone who's done the job for a long time. They can't be expected to hit the ground running, as the saying goes. When searching for work, please watch out for the job descriptions that contain phrases like that. The translation is, you must be prepared to work long and hard and organise everything in rapid timing. If this is not something you want, then the job won't be a good fit for you. So think carefully before accepting. Many times it can be very hard if we encounter a bully boss. There are those who have the attitude, do as I say, as I'm the boss and I pay your wages. Please remember that people who behave in this way are not bosses. They're on a power trip and want to control you. The customer pays your wages by buying from the company. The customer deserves your loyalty, kindness and hard work. If you encounter a manager with this bad attitude, then you have to question the company for employing or promoting someone with this attitude to the position of manager or boss in the first place. If your boss or manager bullies you, then it's time to get out and find another job. Forgive them and be grateful for the lesson they've taught you. They've shown you how you do not want to behave they have shown you how you can be a good boss with respect, morals, fairness and kindness. As the song Yellow Brick Road says, maybe you'll get a replacement. There's plenty like me to be found. Always know your own worth. Leaving a bully at work feels like removing a sack of potatoes from your back. Sometimes walking away is the best thing you can do for your mental health and for your freedom but only you can decide what's best for you. Sometimes discussing how you feel with your boss can resolve the situation. Sometimes they don't realize how they're behaving. 
Only you can be the judge of this, since you know your situation better than anyone else, and only you can decide. If you've tried this and the situation doesn't improve, then it's time to move on. It's time to do a Johnny paycheck. Take this job and shove it. I ain't working here no more. Joking aside, think of yourself first. The right position, job or company will come for you. And if not, then perhaps you're meant to start your own company. After all, you have experience. You know how to be your own boss.